no, 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 not again. Also, no, 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 no. Hey guys, welcome to day seven of Vlogmas. Yeah, it's true, a strand of lights has burned out. So, I'm gonna go to the Walmart and get some LEDs. It's time. I've been using these lights on my banister for years. We're talking like 11 years. I've, I moved, I've been in this house 11 years, so maybe they're like, nine, 10 or 11 years old, so it's time. Every year a strand burns out, cause see I used to have like 10 strands of lights on my old Christmas tree that was not pre-lit back in the day. And so I have all these strands of lights and um, throughout the years they've just been burning out and burning out and I've been replacing the banister lights all the time and yada 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 so I'm gonna go to Walmart today and get some LEDs and be done with it for shizzle so anywho I'm gonna have some lunch I have this um, food club macaroni and cheese when you fill it to the line with water and then put it in the microwave make sure you put it in a bowl I just dumped out all well half the water that I put in because it just boils over no matter what and the bowl catches it so anyway I'm gonna have my lunch and then we're gonna go to Walmart oh joy we are driving up to the Walmart everybody get my braid out of the way I am so glad that there's a Walmart actually two I have two that are close by to my house so I'm thinking, is there anything else I need at Walmart? Is there anything else while I'm there? <laughs> no, I guess not. I had to park clear down in BFE today. Clear down there. gotta love it when you find a spare cart somewhere in the middle of an aisle that nobody's using because I sure needed one. I spotted it and I made a beeline for it. So now I can look around more. These are super cute. You could totally make these yourself. This is only $12. That is a good, good deal. This is hilarious. All their Christmas cards are $6. I just can't do it. Look at how cute these are. See what Dollar Tree has, if any. These are the cutest Christmas pants ever. Here we are. 
also I got these LEDs. They're the same kind that are on my little tree. And these are 60 feet. So anyway, I got two. And we'll see how it all goes. And then these are only 98 cents. Little name tags, you get a hundred of them. Hundred peel and stick. So I thought those were cute. I like sticker name tags. So that's that. I spent a lot of time looking around. I am gonna wrap Christmas presents. I can't show you what they are because they're for Kathy and her family. So I started them and then I'll now I'm gonna finish them. And I have to put them in this box and mail them tomorrow. I already wrapped Pete, her hus my BFF's husband's present. So they're already in the box here. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and start wrapping and whatnot. And we'll just get her done. I'm definitely not doing the best wrapping job in the world, but it's okay. I can't seal the ends of these because the package goes right to the very edge, which I didn't realize, so I'm just going to tape it together like this. for their dog. So I just have this bag of, this is old yarn. So will give it a little something fun. And this one is for her son, Alex. This one's a weird one. And lastly, this one is for her daughter, Cheyenne. will go on top. I don't even need tissue paper to keep it in place. And tomorrow I'll take it to the post office. That's what we'll be doing tomorrow everyone. I am gonna make meatloaf meatballs for dinner tonight and so I'm gonna get started and 
I actually have three quarters of a pound of hamburger. When I get a pound of hamburger, I cut them up in quarters and then I just freeze each little square. Sometimes we just use one of these for spaghetti. Sometimes we'll use two for whatever, but tonight I'm gonna use three for the meatballs. And I'm gonna be putting it all into a Ziploc baggie and mixing it up that way because it's just less mess. So I have my hamburger. I'm gonna be using Worcestershire sauce, mustard, ketchup, and some breadcrumbs. These happen to be Italian style, but it doesn't matter. Um, pepper, and then I'm gonna use some nature seasons. And this just has, you know, a little bit of garlic, onion, pepper, I don't know. And then I'm also gonna be using some onion powder. Excuse me, and then I'm gonna be using an egg. And I'm just gonna beat the egg in a bowl, put all the other stuff in, mix it in, and then put it all in the sack. Let's get this going here. I'm just gonna give it a whisk. I don't measure anything, I just throw it all in. Bunch of Worcestershire sauce. Some mustard. Ketchup. Seasonings, all this. This is onion powder. And some pepper. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm also going to have some onions in here. I just chopped a little tiny bit of onion. I usually don't put it in my meatballs, but I decided to do it today. Daryl likes onions. Okay, I washed my hands and now I'm just smashing this together a little bit. I'm going to add in my onions. My sauce. Okay, now I'm going to put my breadcrumbs in and I'm just going to Put a little in. You don't want to get too many breadcrumbs because then it turns mealy. I've done that before and I it was icky. I had mealy balls. So I just sprinkle some in. Looks like that. Smells good. All right, that ought to be just fine. I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator and just let it sit for a bit. It's only 4.40, Daryl doesn't even get off of work until five, so, you know, we won't even be eating for another hour, so, yeah. Um, let's see. I believe it's this bucket that the extra lights are in for my plant base. 
I have a lot that I didn't put up this year. See, here's that star that's on my tree in the front room. It's actually just um, an ornament, and I had two. And here are my lights. I hope these ones work. Okay. That's all I have, so if they don't work, then lights out. Get it? Oh. solved but I think I'm gonna um, put the lights up on the railing I'm gonna do that tomorrow I just don't feel like dealing with it tonight all right I lined my air fryer with some foil just to catch the grease you don't have to do that but I just don't like a mess and I'm putting on some plastic gloves. These are too big for my hands. They're from Dollar Tree, but they work. And now I'm just gonna make a few meatballs. And drop them in. You can do meatballs or little mini loaves. Maybe I'll make smaller balls. All right, I'm gonna put these in the air fryer on hamburger. Okay. <laughs> All right, so it's on the little steak. So I, I, I assume steak means hamburger, and it's on 400 for 12 minutes. The meatballs are looking good. See, that's why I put down the foil, because I just don't like getting hamburger grease all over the place. So I'm going to let them finish. Let's see, how many minutes left? Four. And Daryl's going to have one of these jasmine minute rice cups. They're so wonderful. You just put them in for microwave for one minute. And of course we're going to have broccoli. I also have a little bit of fettuccine alfredo cheese left over. So I'm going to warm that up and put it on my broccoli. This might even be good on my meatloaf balls. There it is. There, there's mine. Alright, let's try these meatballs. Daryl said they're good. Of course, I know they're good. Mm hmm. They're delicious. I'm going to see what they're like in my cheese. It's good. It's kind of like a Swedish meatball. Oh, really? Oh, really? No, 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 no. These are really good with Alfredo sauce, you guys.